when a company grows quickly, everything breaks. And knowing how to manage that is, some, you know. And you see how the machine works because you start to see. Well, you see how the machine breaks, right? right? Mm -hmm. And that's what it is, right? The machine breaks and then you have to fix it. So, you know, for example, I found that um, if you do a decent job of setting a vision and setting goals and, and, and the company's relatively aligned on what's important, if you do that, 90% of problems are about miscommunication. 90%. Because everybody's smart. Everybody's trying to do the same thing. And so when an issue arises, when conflict happens, when, when mistakes are made, it's usually because there was miscommunication. And communication at a company that's growing is so difficult because no matter what, whatever you're doing when your company has five employees will not work when it has 20 and that will not work when it has 80 and that will not work when it has 150. Um, so for example, I remember this like surreal moment when Flatiron School had eight employees and you know, a couple of them came up to me complaining that it feels like we don't know what's going on anymore. All these things are happening and we're not, you know, at, which is, you know, great in the sense that they feel ownership, that like, how can how can we be doing things and I'm not in on it? But I was like, there's only eight of us, right? Um, and so at that point, I started something called the, the FWIN, the Flatiron Weekly Internal Newsletter, where I would just send out an email every Sunday night about here's what's happening. And I, I kept that going for like five years, didn't miss a Sunday. Um, and then when um, when we hit some something around 40 employees, again, people came up to me and said, well, you know, we only, yeah, there's the FWIN, that's kind of regular updates, but like, you know, we signed some big deal or some big partnership and I only find out after it happens. I feel like there's no input. So I started what we call the weekly roundup. And every week we'd all get together, 40 of us for an all hands, and just talk about it, random stuff that's going on, do an AMA. Um, and then, you know, we got to 80, 100 people and people said, well, yeah, we have that and it's unstructured, that's great, but like we don't know what the goals are and we don't know if we're, you know, how are we doing as a company and we need space for that, so we, we structure that. And, you know, um, today we're near 300 employees um, globally and, you know, in between Europe and probably 10 states in, in, in the U.S. Um, and you can't get everybody together once a week and, and accounting for time zones and, and lost productivity. So now we have a monthly all-hands that's more of a recap of the month, and we do weekly office hours with executives, and then a quarterly, you know, company meeting that's more strategic. And I don't know if that works, right? But you have to just constantly, constantly be trying new things, because um, just communication channels are really, really hard to 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 make efficient. And what you know, no matter how close you are to to, to having something that works, if you're growing at all, anticipate that it'll break. Mm 